Hello everybody, this is Blamo5 here, and today we are going to be playing some more Minecraft. Now, one thing that I want to say... Uh, these cows are just so annoying. God, I understand why some people don't like them. But they are the most, you know... They do have the most output in terms of, like, food and stuff. Of all animals, so... That's why I'm going to have them. I'm going to do friendly creatures to down to, like, 15. I think I can manage that. Now, I have gone mining, and I have gotten some resources. Uh, in terms of iron, I got, like, um, not quite as much. I only got about two stacks. Not quite two stacks. So it's not exactly how much I thought I'd get with iron, but we're still doing pretty good. I made a strip mine. I have no idea where it was. I was just wandering for a really long, long time. I do have the cords for the strip mine, though, so if I want to go back there, I think I have some leather down back there, so if I ever need leather, I might go back there. Or if I ever need, ever need more materials, it is a nice place to get materials from. But yeah, I did get like six diamonds, which is good. Um, and I did find a huge lava lake, and a lot of people probably don't think that's a very big deal, but for, for me, I always look at that in a very positive way, because then, for me, that means no need for coal anymore. <laughs> Because lava is the best fuel in the game. Um, it used to use a bucket, so no one would ever use it because it used to ruin the bucket in the process. But now you can use lava without, you know, destroying the bucket. It just takes the lava out of the bucket and you get the bucket back. So now, you know, it's not a waste of iron to use lava anymore. Um, so it is the best fuel in the game early on. Later on, it might be better to come up with a different type of fuel, probably blaze rods in the, in the end, but um, for now, lava is the best fuel. And we're getting more wheat. Hopefully there's two cows in there that I can breed. Uh, nope. Well, I'll, in, a, in a bit we'll be able to do that. Anyway, so this is not a permanent house, um, it's far from it, uh, but it, it is pretty nice for now. Later on, uh, we're gonna make a different house, we might even get started on that. Uh, I'll need slime balls, or, yeah, slime balls. So, um, yeah, I wanna build over here, in these mountains. And potentially later on, we're gonna make some cool little gadgets. It's nice to have a flower farm because I can make an automatic dye machine that makes dyes uh, pretty easily with this flower farm. Well, it'll make flowers, and then I can make those into dye. It makes flowers and seeds with bone meal automatically. Um, so yeah. This tree is annoying me. At this point, uh, I always used to do this thing where, like, I'd always try to be, like, terrible to the environment, and I'd, like, ruin everything, and then I'd, I'd use saplings as fuel and never replant trees and stuff. That, that's kind of fun, actually, if you do that. It's, it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's not real life, though. It doesn't, I mean, if, it, it's, like, because then you know you're just being, like, a jerk to the environment. It is kind of fun. I wonder how much dye these give. Yeah, they used to give two, and now they only give one. I wonder if, this, if the dandelion uh, gives two. Yeah, it only gives one. Yeah, they they did ner they nerfed flowers. Mhm. Mm yeah, they nerfed flowers. They had they just had they just had to nerf flowers. Thanks a lot, dinner bone. Freaking ruining my whole. Thing, you know, flowers are now useless. They're half as valuable. God, seriously. Anyway, so wait, reeds. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get into this reeds. There's, there, these are awesome. You guys are probably like, what do you mean if you get into this? Well, let me explain. I'm gonna make it the entire coastline covered with reeds, right? And then or sugarcane, if you're not as advanced as I am, and you call it sugarcane. Let me see here. 
it's technically called sugarcane, but it used to be called reeds and bamboo and stuff, so people call it different stuff. Uh, yeah. But yeah, they have the little bump things. Um, <clears throat> what else? What else? Uh, I do have, I don't know what I'll do with this leather, I could probably use it actually. You know what, we're going to make a diamond pickaxe and an enchantment table, and we're going to make books. Um, once those reeds grow, we might, need even, we might even need to go on an expedition to find some more reeds. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to make an enchantment table and an, and an enchantment room. But I don't know where I'll put that. <clears throat> Probably near my house. And eventually when I have a more, you know, a better base, I'll make a new one. And I'll move all my stuff in there. Eventually. What else? Oh yeah, I killed a zombie and I got a potato. <clears throat> I prefer potatoes over carrots because you can cook them and get even more health. Some people prefer carrots. I don't know, it's a, it's whatever you want to do, honestly, but I'm, I'm more into potatoes, so I'm probably going to make a potato farm, not a carrot farm. But I'll have to make a carrot farm if I ever want to get into uh, <coughs> making certain potions. But I'll make a bigger potato farm than a carrot farm, you know. What else? What else? What else? Um... Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out what I could do. Alright, it's almost night time, so we might want to have a sleep. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, I'm just trying to think about the enchantment room, right? Where are we gonna put it? What are we gonna build it out of? I'll probably build it out of, like, cobblestone or something, because we have so much cobblestone. So, um, uh, let's build it, let's build it, like, over here. So we're going to have our enchantment table, and then we're going to have a block, and then we're going to go like this. This is the, and I think you can get 30 levels with this many bookshelves. But anyway, on the outside, so we're going to need a thing around the outside of that, so... You guys are probably a little confused, but I'll explain it in a second. Okay, so basically the idea is here, I'm trying to make a, a cobblestone wall around the where the bookshelves are going to be, um, and I, because that's what I kind of, I want to ma make it out of cobblestone because I have a lot of cobblestone, um, and I'll probably put like a door or something on it. Um, I could make it a little more fancy if I wanted. I'm not sure, maybe I could make this part out of wood, uh, wood logs. It's not too much more fancy, but I think it'll be a little bit more, you know, aesthetically appe appealing, I guess is what you could say. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna go need to cop, uh, I'm gonna go need to cut, cot cut down some more trees. Okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do next? I, I, I'm smelling bacon. I think someone's making bacon. I'm just like, so... My mouth's watering from the bacon. Alright. Probably gonna make the floor out of wood. 
Just mix it up a little bit. Oh, I already had a... Or no, I don't need an axe. What am I doing? I need a shovel. A shovel. Where's my shovel? Um... And you know what, I'll probably make the floor out of cobblestone. But you'll have to remember the walls are not going to be made of cobblestone. The walls are going to be made of bookshelves because this is an enchanting room. So it's not like, this is, you can't, I'm not going to really overdose on the cobblestone or anything on the interior. So on the interior I can use cobblestone as well because there's a too thick wall. Um, all right. gonna be right there, so I'm gonna wanna put that there. Crap. Where's the Enderman? Maybe, maybe during the day they're passive or something. I don't know. They 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 constantly teleport during the day, so I can't tell. One thing I know about Enderman is if you're in a panic, just run for water. All right. <clears throat> So sugar cane, reeds, whatever, I'm not growing that much. Okay, so, um, enchanting room, enchanting room. I need to eat. No, he didn't. He took my grass. God, he took my grass. It's so annoying. All right, so. Back on task. I've, I got I got completely off task here. Um, so let's think here. Let's represent the bookshelves with dirt. I think you only need two layers, right? And the enchantment table. Piece of wood. All right. So we're gonna want. Um, Oh no, this is going to be bookshelf as well. Um, so we're probably going to do the wooden logs there and then the cobblestone over here. If I have some more dirt, I'll be able to do this a little better. Okay, so the dirt represents the bookshelves. And the wood represents the enchantment table. So this is the enchantment table. Okay. So we need more wood now. We need like to cut down like two more trees, and then I'll be able to. 
I'll probably I need to craft a pickaxe, and then once I craft the pickaxe, I'll be able to make a uh, I'll be able to get the obsidian and make then the enchantment table, and then we'll probably make some iron armor, and then we'll or we'll probably no but we'll probably just enchant my the diamond pickaxe that I'm gonna make um, with what however many levels. Okay. I'm gonna probably use stairs um, on the top, but I don't know about the sides. I wish one thing I've always wished was that they had sideways stairs. They have upside that stairs and upside down stairs and stuff, but I wish they had sideways stairs. You, th the problem with sideways stairs is you wouldn't really be able to do that the way it's set up. I don't think you can really actually do that, but I wish there's a way you could. Um, there and there might be a way. I I don't know. There isn't really a way you can can do it, but I wish there was and I wish that they do that if you know what I mean like because you know if you're on this side of the block or this side of the block then you're um, this is up this is upside down this is right side up but like it this side it would view this as being um, either upside down or see because it's along this axis and this axis is on half the block it's weird the way it's set up but I don't think it really yeah The sugar cane. Alright, I'm gonna go grab the rest of the sugar canes actually that are over here. I died a lot when I was mining, and I, I got like diamonds and all this stuff, but then I died, so. And I found a skeleton spawner. I think I got the cords for it, so we still have the skeleton spawner, but generally it was. I lost all the loot. Like I died like several times. I'd go mining for, for like an hour and then I'd die. It really sucked. <clears throat> now I know the series is still kind of boring, but I'm gonna keep going until it starts to get maybe a little more fun. I think I need to have more stuff for it to be more fun. This is going to be what I'm going to call the spawn village, I think, later on. Um, and I think I'm probably not going to permanently live here. It's, I'm going to live over there, but yeah. Alright. I'm back. So. You guys are probably like, what just happened? Well, I don't know, but I'm back. Anyway, I had to leave for a few years, and I'm back now. Anyway, what we're we doing? Looks like uh, what are we doing? Well, it looks like there's an incomplete building. Oh. Cool. I was so lucky. Holy crap. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Sure. I remember I had a s back when on the first world I ever had on my server. I just had a few friends, and it was like two years ago. Um, 
And, um, well, not quite two years ago, almost two years ago. And I can remember, whenever a creeper blow, like, whenever a creeper blew up, I'd only cover up the top. And so in the world, there's a ton of places where there's just, like, it was just, like, the crust of the whole world was mainly hollow in, a sp during the, in most of the areas. So it was really kind of funny. And then eventually, and it cre commands weren't working, and then commands started working, and I started, we started cheating, and then the server just turned, kind of turned to crap a little bit. So we have sugar games. Have any more sugar canes anywhere? No? Alright, so we're going to be making bookshelves, right? So I need to get these. So I can make one bookshelf. <sighs> one bookshelf. It's going to take quite a bit of leather, I think. It takes three leather per book bookshelf, so it'll probably take like. 30 leather or something, so I'll probably need to go back and get more leather. But yeah, this is the start of something beautiful. Oh my god, that's the first bookshelf. Anyway, let's just check the achievement so far and see what we've done. So, we've done a lot. We've done time to farm, we've baked bread, turned bread. Um, things we need to do is we need to go fishing, or cook fish. We need to, uh, get obsidian. We need to give diamonds to another player. We're not going to be able to do that one, I don't think. Uh, we need to make an enchantment table. Yeah, so we've, we're actually probably a lot of the way through this already, which is kind of amazing. Um, and it's only like this third episode. See, we're doing pretty good. Um, anyway, um, God, I have stuffy nose. Okay, I can barely breathe. All right. So, wait, let me just wait a second. All right. Okay. So, enchantment table. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a pickaxe. Then we need to find lava and water. And then we need to mine that lava and water and get obsidian. So we're going to actually do that right now. While the reeds continue to grow. Um, and yeah. So we'll have one diamond left over. We'll make like a... If we just get one more diamond after that, we can make a hoe. Diamond hoe. We'll actually need... I want to make a pick and a sword. Those are the first things I really want to make. So yeah. Um, do I have any... Okay, I have a bucket. So I'm just going to grab some water and then I'm going to go... I'm probably going to go to my strip mine. It's pretty far away, I believe. So yeah. Um, I'm going to go get the cord. So I have the quartz. Um... Let me just put up the F3 menu. Alright, so... We want to go to... Uh, okay. that way. We want both those numbers to go down a lot. The X and the Z. We're going to stay at sea level, which is 64. Um, but, oh, we have steak. Okay. Let's get going.
Okay. <clears throat> So uh, this video is getting a little bit long. Um, I one thing I'm, I need to work on in my videos that I'm just gonna say right now is um, is trying to be a little bit more uh, entertaining and not including the little boring details. <laughs> uh, and that in, and I don't have really good, an editing software that I can use, so I am um, that I really know how to use. I need to find one. If you guys have I, I can't remember. I want to get like a really basic one, but I, I don't really want to pay much money. I don't want an expensive one because that's not really, you know. That's not really a very reasonable, you know, thing for me to do. But anyway, uh, I think. I'm just gonna go, I'm not gonna craft, oh, okay, well, uh, this is gonna make this a lot faster, actually, because I don't need to find it, actually, it's lava right here. So we're just gonna grab this. We need, like, four or something. We need f 14. So I'm just gonna mine that. Okay, my uh, well, my sprint key failed and I lost um, uh, most of my stuff because I fell in lava. But a lot of uh, some of it uh, fell over here. So luckily, I got some of it back. And yeah, need a better sprint key. This is I'm no I don't know about this keyboard. It's the keyboard that came with my computer when I bought. Ah, oh, crap. See, that's the sort of stuff I need to not do. If you know what I mean. So yeah. Ah, oh, did I get it? Yes, I got it. Okay. Wait. Mining with my iron pickaxe. You know what? I'm just gonna head back. I can get the rest of the obsidian for the nether portal. A l in a later episode, I the, the episode's running really long right now, and I just want to get back. It's already split into two different videos. My recorder does that. Once the video gets like 20 minutes long or something, so that means that I'm gonna need to uh, use like Windows Movie Maker or something to edit it. It's gonna be confusing. I don't really like Windows Movie Maker because it doesn't really work that well, but. Or you know what, I'll probably just use the YouTube editor thing. I think they still have that where you can merge two videos into one. I think there's a, uh, I think Etho uses, Etho's lab uses a, uh, just are really big jerks, if you know what I mean. There. They're like the hardest to kill. In like a flat area, it's impossible to kill them. When if you're like on a flat world, and you get an iron sword, you can't kill them. They're just so hard to kill, because unless you use some special tactics, you can't just run up to it and hit it, because its frequency increases, and it hits you back so fast. You just can't do anything. I have to like, run around a tree. Enderman. Nice. Endermen are really nice creatures. Crap. Um. 
Ah! Luckily, I was really close to my house. I should have ran in the water. I'm so stupid. God, I shouldn't have even attacked. I, you know, I, th I, th you know, I should have. There's so many things I could have done, but I was just so scared that I didn't do anything. That was really stupid. I was just right over there, I think. So it's not a problem. Question is, yeah, that's where I was, just right there. So it's not that big of a deal, but it is the first time of time I've died on camera. This is like the third episode, so. Yeah, I, I'm still, I consider myself, in some ways, I'm still a little newbie. And that is one thing I'm, I'm hoping to overcome a little bit in this series. By playing on normal mode, I normally like playing in easy mode. Newbie in terms of fighting tactics. I suck at ta fighting, especially. Okay. And I always am dying. But in most other aspects of the game, I'm really good, except with fighting and staying alive. One thing I'm so used to is I'm used to never having any food, and so I never eat. And then, <laughs> and one thing I have a, that I also have that's bad is I always sprint, always, always sprint. And that's not very good either, you know. So those are little problems that I need to overcome. Like, sprinting is okay, constantly sprinting is okay if you have a good source of food. But right now, I don't have a good source of food. Cause I have a phobia towards killing animals unless I have a farm. That's why I made one. That's why I wanna, I'm making a farm. It was like I did that in like the second episode. Like I, I, my friend I have whenever he plays, he almost never makes a farm until he's like really, really far into the game, and he just kill goes out and kills animals. And I'm and I started playing in 1.8, and I remember having an area right and killing all the animals and waiting for new ones to respawn and just waiting. And they never respond. Eventually, I died. You know, it's and I, I really hated that. And so I never. And so I said I'd always make a farm after that. And that was in 1.8 because I, I didn't know that I was in 1.8, and I didn't know that animals respond. And so that's a, that's why I kind of have that bad memory. And so I try to avoid that. <clears throat> so anyway, back to what's important. I believe we still have an extra book. Right, somewhere. Somewhere we have a book somewhere. Um where's the book? There is the book. We need the book. We need it. You know what? I had it in my inventory and I lost it. Ah. Okay, well <clears throat> do I have enough reads to make another book? I have enough leather yes I do. But I and I have two reads. I need one more read. Grow! You know what? I don't care. I'll just destroy. I, there's, the reads are not that hard to make. <clears throat> well, they're actually like the fastest growing plant, I think, in real life. I'm not sure about Minecraft, but they might be in Minecraft as well if they want to be. It, I, you know, I'd suggest that to Mo, Mo Yang because in order to be accurate, they just need to do that. This is how you craft a book. Makes sense. Alright, so. Enchantment table. I remember being in creative mode and just trying to mess around with the new stuff that, they, that I didn't know about. And enchanting tables were one of them, and I just did not understand it. Yeah, achievement get. Achievement get. Enchanter. Now I can finally put a real enchantment table here. And I have two levels to put on my epic sword. Smite one. Nice. No, no. I'm making a new sword. Um. There. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much the episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and favorite and all of that. That'd be really awesome. Helps my channel. Uh. So yeah, it's nice. It's awesome. Is that still out there? Guess what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna um, let me see here. Just need to get rid of this. Um, uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs>
If you guys don't know, smite means that it kills zombies better, but the problem with smite is it only works on zombies, and it's not even the best. It's smite one, especially. And you can't, I can never enchant that ever again, you know? It's sort of like, well, what if I want to enchant it again, you know? So, might as well get rid of it now. It's just, it's, it's so bad. It's not even like, I was hoping for, like, sharpness one. That's what I was expecting, you know, for, like, two levels. But smite. Nice. Just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Fantastic, okay? Alright, so. Um, I'm just going to replant these. And then, uh, yeah. So anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. I think I already said this. But uh, bye, guys.